Hey, welcome back to My Time to Fly. I thought it'd be fun to take just a few minutes and talk about something that's inspiring to me. See, in the last video that I put out, talking about avionics upgrades that we might pursue on the Mooney, I had a lot of comments. Of course, comments that pointed in one direction or the other, G5, GI275, G3X, Dynon, this, that, the other thing. But there was also a lot of comments that kind of brought me back to 20 years ago when I started flying. Comments about, keep it simple. Where's the paper chart, right? How about doing it the way we used to do it? How about relaxing flying? Now I know everybody's mission is different. Whether you're attempting to be a IFR commercial pilot, or you're just out there looking for $100 hamburgers on beautiful days, all of our missions are gonna be a little bit different. But it got me thinking about the progression that I've gone through. Of course, I did training just like anybody else did 20 years ago, planning cross countries on charts, getting nervous and concerned about if I was gonna find my waypoint along the way. And I made a transition. I made a transition into very simple GPS flying. And then of course I stopped flying for a while. And when I came back, all of a sudden we had amazing technology that wasn't at my fingertips before. So I thought I'd just show you some really neat stuff. Um, first, this is the first GPS that I ever flew with. I happened to be over at my, my folks' house, I don't know, a few weeks ago, and my dad said, hey, I want you to look at this. Um, and he pulled out this guy. This actually used to be sold at our FBO, right? Um, and I remember this being on the windshield, mounted up to the windshield of our Cessna 172, and me following a big black arrow on this Garmin EMAP, right, flying cross country. And what really brought me back is when I turned it on. So I turned, I turned it on and it started right up. I guess good on Garmin for their products. And, uh, and then I saw the map. Here's the map that we had populated for flying in Michigan. See all those waypoints, Fremont, Lakeview, Greenville, those were all hand entered by us. I remember looking up different airports, finding the latitude, longitude, putting them into the, uh, <laughs> the Garmin unit, and then Velcroing it up. We made a little mount and we Velcroed it up to our windshield and we followed this GPS. Now the, the big downfall, it worked great, but the big down, downfall was it did not draw a line really between you and where you were going. It just continuously updated to tell you where you were going or where you needed to be. So it was pretty easy to fly like a big hook shape into where you wanted to be. But it was awesome, right? It was like you knew you were going to get where you needed to go. And, you know, on a couple AA batteries, you know, bring a couple spares, you felt pretty good about it. So I thought this was pretty neat. I think one of these times that I fly, I'm going to put it in uh, the airplane and just have fun with it, see what it does. So, like I said, there was a ton of advancement, and you all know that there was a lot of advancement. I don't have to tell you. And now, every one of us pilots carries one of these around, right? Maybe not everyone, but a lot of us certainly do. This is a good old-fashioned iPad that I don't know my code for, apparently. Uh, I do, but... Um, and at our fingertips, we have incredible information. So much information that we take for granted, maybe in many cases. So, of course, I'm just sitting at home right now, so it's hooked up to Wi-Fi. Uh, I don't have my ADSB source going or anything, so I don't see any traffic. But you name it, you can find it in here. Now, my screen might look a little bit different. I keep holding it up to the camera. I'm not sure why I can hold it up to like the other side. If this looks a little bit different to you, uh, it's not an advertisement for them necessarily, but I run uh, FlyQ, which has been a, a really good software for me, a really good EFB. I got it on a, a crazy deal. I don't know if they'll ever have the deal again, but I have a lifetime subscription, so I'm going to use it. Um, but just going through the different things that are on here, uh, I'll take a screenshot and throw it up on the screen, and, and you can see as I talk through it. So, of course, in here, you can see an incredible amount of information, right? More information than any, of, than any of us maybe even need, but at least it's at our fingertips. 
right? All the way from different map settings, IFR, VFR maps, um, to terrain maps and road maps, um, to weather, of course, weather being the biggest category um, in this EFB anyways. I can't speak to others like Ford Flight or uh, Garmin Pilot, but um, you have live radar, you have METARs and TAFs that get um, put into normal language for people like me. Winds aloft, you put winds aloft on, you can pick how high um, to go, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, you can, you know, you can pick whatever your route of flight is, or you can decide if you want to go higher or lower in real time, uh, which is pretty awesome. You can look at surface winds. So maybe for me, if I was trying to pick like an alternative airport, um, I might look at one where the wind lines up with the, the runways. Um, you can look at clouds, the bases and the tops as reported, um, sigmets and air mats and all kinds of different information to keep you safe during the flight, right? We, maybe we take that for granted, but my old Garmin certainly didn't have that, right? Um, from a, a, the safety category, there's, there are things like TFRs and obstacles and traffic um, that really start to um, bring you more awareness as you're flying, okay? It's just unbelievable to me, and maybe we take it for granted. So uh, I'll tell you right now, I am not good enough in these suites. I need to, I am not good enough in uh, FlyQ. I need to spend more time in here and get better, and I would encourage you all to do the same if you're flying. Um, you know, I know how to do something simple like say where I am, right? So I'm at 8 Delta 4, and I want to go to, um, you know, some other airport. Let's say I want to go to Lakeview, 1 through 3 Charlie, and I can say that's where I'm going and have it populate a flight plan for me. My, air, my airplane's already in here. It, based on wind, it tells me where I should B, what elevation I should be at to maximize the wind, how much fuel I'm going to use, how long it's going to take me. Of course, that's maybe a bad example. It's only 10 minutes. That N that I put at the end when I typed it in up top means no routing. Just send me direct there, right? You can learn those little things. And I've been able to do other things like put my documents and procedures in here. So here's all my pre-flight, right? Um, or my engine starting procedures or all of my other procedures, including my POH. Loaded right in here, so it's always at my fingertips. I guess what I'm really saying here is don't take this stuff for granted, right? Get in here and learn and master your EFB. Master the tools that we have. Um, I'm all for flying simple, but flying safe, right? Um, if you're pursuing IFR like I hope to do, I mean, you know, you're going to use maybe a different set of tools in here or another set of tools in here, but... Regardless, with this much power at our fingertips, it's my opinion that really no, no pilot should be without, right? Whether you have it mounted on your yoke or on your kneeboard or, you know, just hanging out next to you and you're not using it all the time, there's a ton of power here. I, mean, I didn't even talk about ADSB and the ability to see traffic. Of course, I don't want people just staring at this all the time. That's a thing that I've had happen for me once or twice, and I think it um, you know, ended, ended up making me not feel so great just staring at it too much. But uh, there is so much information and power that we as pilots have been given uh, to keep us safe, to make us plan effectively, make good decisions. I just implore you to, to use them, right? And to, to really um, understand where we were or even back to paper charts, where we are now and, uh, and the opportunity we have. So again, I wanted to keep it short and sweet. I appreciate you all being here. Just a random plug. I did set up a merchandise store. I'll put the link down in the description. Also, if you go to my page, uh, right to my YouTube channel, there's a, a store a tab you can go on. Go check it out. If you don't like what you see, tell me because I can design some more. It's really cool, really straightforward. Um, and I really look forward to growing uh, th that part of my time to fly and hopefully working to share the message of general aviation and, and how empowering and great general aviation can be uh, for people of, of all ages and all over the world. Thanks again for being here. We'll see you real soon.